This is the real life show. Welcome back to the show. Uh, Mark is the name uh, and the real life talk show coming to you every Sunday, uh, 11 uh, p.m. and uh, the repeats are Wednesdays at midday. Now we are talking about unemployment and we are at Maghrib Agencies, one of those that deals with employment internationally. Uh, they are starting their interviews tomorrow, Monday. And if you're a driver, you are a housemaid, you are a bouncer, you are, you know, you, you, you can get into any of those, um, please come right here, Najana Nkumbi, uh, right opposite the police post. Uh, you will find them here. Uh, that's where they will be. Now, now let, let, let's, let's get back to Derek. Derek, you, you, you are still going through that process. Mm. When now you get them ready to fly, they've paid their fees, they get onto the plane. They know exactly where they are going. Yeah. Okay. We communicate with the company to wait for the candidates at the airport. At the, the airport. Plane. Okay. Yeah. With so big placards and their names. Yeah, no, they go with our t-shirts. Oh, okay. With Maghrib logo. Okay. Like, do you see this? Mm -hmm. So we give the one of the candidates or all the candidates a number of the person picking them. Mm -hmm. So when they reach at the airport, if the person has delayed to come in, they can they, call. They call. Or okay. they can get a phone from any nearby person. Okay, who gives them the airtime to do that? No, when they reach there, when they reach Dubai, mm -hmm. anybody can help you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They are good people. Okay. Those are good people. Yeah. Okay. But if you are candidates with someone who are planning to buy the lines at the airport, they can buy their personal lines and call the person. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, w w you know, if you, these, most of these countries are Islamic countries. Yeah. And uh, do you also encourage people to dress in Islamic garb? It's not a mask that you should put on Islamic dressing code mm. because there are even just you know that there are even churches in Dubai okay so even we take both Christians and Muslims, Muslims yeah. so there are churches in Dubai and those people pray on Friday and Saturday it's mm. their weekend here our weekend is Saturday and Sunday for them their Monday is Sunday hey. yeah it's different that side so any type of way is okay okay as long as it's not a short skirt that will bring problems hey. so yeah. short skirts bring problems yeah, in those countries so uh, okay all right now when they get there uh, what who caters for the accommodation the company the company is providing accommodation all companies for the, the jobs MD mentioned mm. or the categories all companies provide accommodation all companies provide transport from where you reside to where you work from and they pick you up after work they provide medical in case you are sick there's medical insurance mm -hmm. they provide uniform for the candidates you work for eight hours plus four hours for overtime, mm -hmm. then the contracts are two years renewable. Okay. Then the companies provide free air tickets after every two years. Hey! Yes, they give you a free ticket to come back home for vacation of like one month or two months. You go back and start working. It's for free. Hey, you so it's a, it's a return ticket? Yeah, it's a return ticket. I like that. It, so, it's not on the expense of the person working. Yeah, it's not. It's on the expense of the company. Of the company, yeah. I like that. So then other companies, like when you go for hotel, all categories that go for hotel, they provide food. Mm. Other categories, they don't give food, but the rest of the things are given, provided by the company. Okay. Now, now, um, so, so from there, mm. you're taken to a hostel. Yeah. And then from the hostel, you're, the Do person who is employing you comes and picks you from there. No. From the airport, they take you to the company accommodation. Okay. Then the next day, you all go for medical. Again? Yes, there's medical. Before they give you a working permit, you must have done medical. Then after I medical... I thought you'd do the medical. That's here. the first medical from Uganda. Mm. What if they just trust our medical and the doctor maybe was bribed by the candidate? Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's why they do their final medical from that side. Mm. So after the medical, the next day you start training. Which training does not go more than one week? Mm -hmm. After one what week... What are they training? They train you what you're going to be doing. Okay. For the specific job you have gone for. If you have gone as a security guard, so they train what, are the, what is needed by a security guard at work. Mm. Those are the things they train you. And if you're, you go as a housemaid, they... They train you. They give train. you some training, yes. Okay. They so after training, they deploy you now to start work. To start work. But they start count, counting your salary the day you drop into you the You drop. Bank. Yeah. Okay. 
Now, um, there have been cases, of course, on, on social media mm. where people have complained that they, their employers mistreated them. Mm. They don't give them good food. Mm. Um, they have to fend for themselves. Mm. They are harsh. Yeah. He, and some ladies <coughs> will look very nice. Mm. They, they, you know, the, the man starts to look at them in a, in a you, know, a, you know, he leaves the wife and, you know. And yeah. uh, how, how do you... How do you protect you see when when these people leave uganda we give them two numbers we give them the embassy number in case of any problem call the embassy mm -hmm. if not police at the other side if they don't but what and before even calling those people call us in case we delay if it's very urgent call the embassy that we do it and two, will the embassy respond of course quickly. the embassy comes in Embassy comes in because even these girls were in Saudi complaining. The embassy came in plus us as an association of mm. Uera. Mm. Now in Uganda we have good bosses and bad bosses. Same case that side. Mm. They are good bosses and they are bad bosses. They are bad bosses. So the instances that occur where you cannot come in, like for example, somebody calls you that night that this man is raping me, and we're in Uganda. We have to handle things diplomatically. Okay. So you cannot just come in. So you allow the rep to go on. And no, you don't you, allow the rep to go on. You intervene the following morning. No. <laughs> That's not the case. As he, he has already <laughs> mentioned that he, we, we give you contact. So you can either call the police or you can call the, the, the embassy. We give them the contacts if somebody is going to, uh, for example, is going to United Arab Emirates. We give you the contact of the employer. We give you the contact, our contacts here. We also give you the contacts of the foreign missions where you are going to. Mm. So, so that in case of any issues, if any of us is not on, so you are at least able to, to reach somebody. So okay. you're not just left alone. Or that's that's the, the main reason why Ugandans should go through licensed companies yeah. because you can easily find a solution from your destination in case you have a problem. Okay. So you. So, so but um, what has happened? You know, there 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 have been you know a few clips on on WhatsApp and uh, social media of people who send even their mm. the, their small videos of their phones that you know I'm in this place they've locked me up and uh, you know the boss wanted this they've beaten me up my back is hurting I'm working too hard. But sometimes they work yeah, them so okay. hard. Yeah, with, okay. Uh, with the Maghrib agencies, we take candidates to work with companies. So in case a candidate complains of any of these issues, we have to task the company that we have sent them or him or her to, to explain mm -hmm. or to, to, uh, to counteract to the to, to the problems that that lady is facing or that gentleman is facing. And mm. you find that eventually everything is solved. Either the person is taken to another sponsor, that is for Saudi, or either the, the client has to change him from a location, like some, some locations for the cleaners, that's, let's say, for United Arab Emirates. If you find that uh, the, the candidate is complaining that I'm given too much work or here I have a backache or something, we send, quickly we send an email to the, to the company and that person is changed to a place which is a little bit comfortable or which has less work or mm. something like that. But we are not telling you that when you go to your location, you start causing this kind of trouble because <laughs> <laughs> yeah we can do it to a certain extent yeah. yes yeah. then on top of that Maghrib we are special in that every three months we keep on checking on our candidates hey and I, I believe we shall discuss with the committee and we get we sponsor like two people from NBS next mm -hmm. time when we are traveling we go with the journalists to so that to get evidence on what we are telling you right now okay that, now that, that, that is that is very interesting yeah do you think that the, 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 the candidates will be very open when their bosses are there. Yes, they're open. Yes, because because, because you, you know, they, 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 they won't want to tarnish a name mm. and the boss will be looking at them and saying, man, you No, know, but we'll be speaking some you know, of the things in, our, in, in a local language so that if, you, if they don't want the boss to hear anything, they the usually chip in, in our local language. 
They don't even go away. They will speak in Luganda or hey. Wates or something like this. Uh, and, so and, they both are not here. <laughs> 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 so they'll be able to give us all the information that we need. Uh, okay. But they will, I don't think uh, there is uh, so much that is bad about working abroad. It is all good. It is about yourself. It's about discipline. Mm. Uh, and just like you mentioned, yeah, there, are, yeah. there are some bad bosses and there are some, some very good ones. Even they are very stubborn Ugandans. Some of them go and they uh, do funny things that the bosses don't like. You know? hey, they, they, and then they complain. Yeah, and then they, at the end of it, they complain. So let's try our best to... to uh, Especially some of these black ladies. And, and then you, you, you try to seduce the, 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 you know, the boss. And then... You, you know, when the wife starts to give you trouble, and you said, man, now is giving me trouble. Now, all these kinds of things. You, you, Ugandan ladies are sharp. I know them. Now, there they have been, a, there's been a, a, a case scenario and study which shows that you take mostly ladies. And uh, young men are feeling a bit alienated from this. Because most of the people are taken are ladies. That has, Why? That has only occurred with Saudi. Mm. But for the past seven years, we have taken 90% of male and 10% female. Yeah. Really? We have, yes, we have started taking yes. many female this year. And it's because of the Saudi program that we started getting. Mm. But previously, UAE, they bring a contract like they want... 50 guards and they only want 50 they want 45 male and only five female mm -hmm. so mostly we take male not female okay we take mostly male okay yeah yeah okay. and uh, i would like to tell the fellow ugandans out there that uh, this is a chance for you and this is a new year for you new year with new things new year with new good things new good jobs we have a security guard job for abu dhabi we have security guard job for, for Dubai. Uh, we have uh, waiters. We need the waiters. We need the cleaners. Please, you need to rush the following morning, Monday, and come and register. Mm. This is your chance. Ladies, this is your chance. Don't sit, sit back and complain that uh, or, or men sit back and complain. This is a chance for you. Bouncers, please come over. We need you, and you are going to earn 3.5 million. Why wouldn't you take this chance? Why wouldn't you make a change in your life this year? What about some of us who went to school and we, we, we <laughs> want to be doctors there and we want to be... Pre like I, if I, I went there and I did the presentation on their TV, now I don't even know what language I would be using. D don't you think I would earn a bit more than 3.5? You would, you would, really would, but not at the moment. You would go down <laughs> and go as a, maybe a cleaner. As and a you, cleaner. You, you come up, you'll show your talent or you show your extras when you're at the you job. Are there. So that, you know, this, uh, the Gulf world believes that uh, Africans, the way they look like, maybe they are timid, they don't have any knowledge. But when you get there, I have even experience from this, uh, our clients who come over here, some Africans from Egypt, for them they went as cleaners, as mm. drivers, mm. but now they are holding big posts as human resource managers That's in great. some of these companies in UAE. So why not a Ugandan like you? I even have a, a colleague, a Ugandan, who is coming also is one of the human resource managers in one of the big offices, but he went as a, mm. a, cleaner. a cleaner. So don't, oh, don't undermine. So, so there is a, a possibility of you going as a cleaner, but coming back as a human resource manager. Yes. 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 That happens. Yes, those yes. people look yes. at the experience you finish in their country, not the papers you have in Uganda. A person with a degree in Uganda is useless, and a person with a senior four in Uganda goes that side, finishes three years, becomes a big person. So to them, they don't look at the qualification. They ask, what can you do? Very good. And the experience you finish and in your country ah. to get a better payment and a better job. Yeah. Sounds very mm. nice. Mm. You know, it, it's something that we need to, 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 to consider very, very, very carefully here. And, uh, you know, it, it would help lots of young people now just sitting around and waiting for trouble to come and they throw stones and uh, shout and uh, you know mm -hmm. do all these uh, politicking things yeah. and uh, even after you vote in a candidate he doesn't pay you, you a salary 
go out there and and start by scrubbing someone's toilet or things like that. And you, you may yeah, come Mr. Back. Mark, you are actually saying uh, the right thing yes. because let's stop wasting a lot of time and uh, letting other nationalities cover our positions yes. because we are Tumulugunya because they selected uh, yes. maybe Catherine as the MP or uh -huh. whatever. And then so you also go out there and look for the money that you, you could uh, help, you could use to help your family, you can save it and buy a plot here, you know, uh -huh. let's and not the real waste issue, time. The real yeah. issue here is, is we are looking for means of making a living. Yes. And not, not, not just having a candidate in a certain position. Yes. Many times when you vote that candidate, you want them to improve the condition so that your status also improves. But yes, yes. Many times it doesn't improve. It doesn't. One of the things I think people can, can do is to take advantage of uh, companies like Maghrib. Yeah. Go out there, make some good money, come buy a plot, do some agriculture. And one of those days, you'll be the one driving one of those very huge cars yeah, out there and looking as good as this lady <laughs> right here, you know, uh, <laughs> and not complain that these people stole our money. No, yeah. people are working. Yeah, you know. true. Mm. Now, you, how long have you, have you worked in this company, Derek? Since it started. Since it started. Yeah. Have you had an experience of working out in the Gulf States? Yeah, yes. I did. W what did you go as there? Sales manager. Uh huh. What were you <coughs> selling? But we were working with Pet Scholar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But so I was there for only six months. The contract was for two years, but I was there for only six months. Why? Because, because I started getting business, and I came together with Madame Cafe, who started the business. Wow. By that time, she was doing ticketing, and I saw her very important because this business needs tickets. Yes. So I said, let me get together with Madame Cafe. To catch up with the business. That's where we started it out. So that's what you cut the other yeah. contract short? Outers, because I started getting business from the people that side. Mm. They wanted Ugandans and there was no access. Mm. Mm. So I saw it better than remaining there. True. Working as a sales manager because they wanted people from 50 to 100, 150 Ugandans mm. and they didn't know where to start from. So I said, let me get back to Uganda, meet Madame Cafe and other colleagues. We started the business. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Now you're doing very well. You're even mm. married. How many w wives do you have? <laughs> One. Oh. <laughs> She's very lucky. <laughs> yeah. can, can well. you, yes. what, what were you doing before you, 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 you uh, had this vision? Okay. Uh, I was working with uh, Ethiopian Airlines mm -hmm. before. but Wait, uh, Air hostess or something? Uh, not really. I was doing the, the ticketing. Yes. Yeah. So... And uh, by then we had, I think, somebody else, only one person who used to contact us about export of labor. So I said, what is this export of labor? Mm. So I just dropped off the other job and also went on with the export of labor because already I got to know the contacts. I got to know uh, that Ugandan's most uh, difficult moment is to have so many youth unemployed. True. So uh, when uh, Derek came with an idea, so I said, why not? Let's go on with it because we'll be doing one thing, we'll not be making money, but we are also changing the nation. Yes. We are changing, we are changing lives of people. Mm. So that's the main uh, So your, reason, your yeah. biggest joy is yeah. not the money that it's is It's not coming, the money. Though you are very happy with the money that yeah, is Yeah, I'm coming. happy, I'm happy, I'm uh, living good. You're not good. complaining. No, 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 no. So, uh, <laughs> but I want, I want change in the, in the nation. In the nation, yes. Yes, yes, that's the most important thing. Let's you know, avoid standing on the road. You stand on the road for the whole day because you're angry. Come to Maghrib and we shall make peace for you. You'll be happy. We have uh, so many candidates who have uh, changed their lives. As you have watched already uh, and seen that people are really happy with whatever they are doing. They are making money. Mm. Come and make at least 2.5 million is not bad enough. You have free accommodation. You have free medical insurance. You have free uh, transport from where you are living and uh, to your workplace. You, some of them even have free food. So why not? Mm. Free food. You have everything <coughs> free, yeah, but yeah. You, you live in Kampala. So it, you earn if, 250. If you're with an employer and he's not giving you free food and expects you to cater for yourself, what do you do? Uh, some of them uh, buy food, but food in the UAE is very cheap. Mm. 
Yeah, it's very cheap. Or oh, some candidates, they come together, like two or four, they can buy their food, their food they can yeah. make a budget for themselves at the end of the, I mean, at the end of the month, at the end of the day, so they there can be able to... There is food that a Ugandan can eat there. Yes, yes, yes. There is okay. chicken. Chicken, if you need to eat chicken, even I have some candidates from uh, uh, one company who told me, Madam, have you ever seen people throwing chicken in Africa? Here people throw chicken. So, you know, chicken is, is the best food that somebody can really yeah, think that yeah. I've eaten in somebody's house. But yeah. they say, Madam, we are throwing chicken in this place. It's too much. So why say. not? You go for the job and change your life. Good mm -hmm. living. Exposure is a lot. You will not only be finishing your contract, but you are going to meet a whole range of nationalities. Mm -hmm. You will have a different vision when you come back. You will have a completely changed life. Okay. You know? what, what number can they call, Derek? They call 0772-515462. Say or that again. 0772-515462. Where does that go exactly? It goes to the managing director. Okay. Then another number is 0753-06. Mm -hmm. That's six, four times. Mm -hmm. Zero five. Mm -hmm. Then another one is zero seven zero one mm -hmm. twenty one fifty ninety. Mm -hmm. When they call those numbers, they will get us. Our offices at Najana Kumbi, opposite the police post. Mm -hmm. That's why we enter from two buildings. Between there is a corridor. You enter the red gate. Yeah. And there's even a signpost that has Magro agencies. And you, like you said, the interviews start tomorrow. tomorrow yeah, they're starting tomorrow on for one week. So for one week. Yeah. And uh, the travel may be about a month Within after that. Within a month, that. after mm. a month, they will be traveling. Okay. Yeah. I, I had heard that they had uh, slapped a ban on, uh, you know, export. A ban right now is not, no. A ban is on the housemaids. On housemaids. Other categories is fine. Okay. Why housemaids particularly? Because they're rectifying some small, small loopholes mm. to correct it with the government of South Because Arabia. of what has been because happened. Because of what happened, yeah. Mm. So they're correcting something. Small, but it will be rectified as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, uh, let me just ask this question, and uh, please try to be as open as you can. Um, if a girl goes out there, she's not too happy with uh, house girling, mm. too much work, harassment from the yeah. the mistresses, and da 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 da, and uh, she wants to change. Mm maybe get into being a waitress or something like that. Yeah. What is the procedure for change? C can you go to the one employing you and say, I want this contract uh, uh, terminated, <coughs> I found my own way out, I let me do my own thing? Yeah, with Saudi Arabia, it's different from United Arab Emirates. Mm. Saudi Arabia, this passport, that's why those people provide everything for free, starting with the passport. Why they give a free passport? Because one, the profession must read the housemate. Yes. They see it difficult for Uganda who already has a passport to change her profession from maybe business to housemaid. Mm. That's why they say now let's provide free passports for these people since the embassy needs the profession to be housemaid. Now since they give you everything for free, free ticket, free visa, free medical, free interpol, free passport, they expect you to go there to finish their two years. And the terms and conditions you sign with those people is the person must finish minimum three months for the person to cancel. So I've got, we have got such cases where somebody does not finish three months or somebody has finished three months and she's tired of the job and we have lost a lot of money in paying tickets for these girls to come back. Yeah. Because that side, when a person has already put in money in you and he or she expects you to finish two years and before even one year, you've already started complaining. Don't expect him to pay any coin. So yeah. the whole loss comes back to... The yeah. Even next week there's a girl returning back and we have paid a fine of one thousand five hundred dollar. Ah. Is what we pay per person who returns. Those are the terms and conditions. Uh, what uh, what I want to also add on my colleague, uh, that all the jobs all the job contracts that uh, we get, they are also some terms and conditions. We sign MOUs that uh, we are having also this uh, different conditions but one of them all is somebody who returns before their uh, before completion of the probation you must pay a certain fine
Mm. Yeah, since we must pay. So we need uh, people we need who are serious. Serious, yes. Yeah, people who are serious who are going to work or uh, who are going to finish their probation at least. Finish your probation. If you want to change your job, you're free to change your job after probation. Like United Arab Emirates has lifted that uh, ban. the ban. Like uh, you, can, you could change freely after six months. After six months. Because there's a standard. It's six months for any job security. Uh, driving. If you finish six months, it's okay. You can change without them leaving a fine on on you. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. So we need serious people, not someone who goes there and then is working here and then he says that is a better job, uh, and then you 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 cause trouble or you say I'm, I want to come back because the the two people I have met uh, that say we're out there, all of them say. Their backs are paining and their chests are paining, so they want to come. They came back on that. Yeah. Um, don't go, you know, first go for a medical checkup and don't cause loss uh, to your family and also to the company. Uh, uh, finally, um, you know, um, you said the age limit is S4, that is about 17 years. No, 21. 21. Minimum 21, maximum 40. What about those that have just finished S4? They are maybe seven, they are 17, 18, but they have nothing to do. They, they don't want to wait to until work. they make 21. Why 21? That's the minimum age for the employment visa submission oh, yeah. process. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So there it is for you. Yes. Uh, what, which final words would you like to say? My final words to the Ugandans is, is that please use licensed <laughs> companies to be able to get a job abroad. Uh, come to Maghrib agencies and we are on Entebbe Road, Najana and Kumbi, opposite the police post. You should uh, be able to call these numbers zero seven seven two five one five four six two. Or zero seven zero one two one five zero nine zero, or you can use Airtel zero seven five three six 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 zero five. Please get your job solution with Maghrib agencies. Yeah. Any final words? My final yeah. word is my brothers and sisters out there who are jobless and who are looking for a better future. Trust Maghrib agencies and come to us. We are located at Najana Kumbi, opposite police posts. I don't want to forget to send greetings to my mother. <laughs> I, you yes. know, she's always uh, wants to find out what is going on with the Maghrib agencies. Yalama noi noi, yalama ite toto osoroti. Koto ngitungalo osoroti kero poto Maghrib agencies. You know, most of uh, the people think maybe she's from uh, America, but I am a Ugandan, so please you come <laughs> over. We'll speak in your local language to be able to take you to work abroad. And also, not forgetting my family, my husband, Mr. Sabwe, uh, who is not here, who is uh, doing our usual check in UAE, mm. and is uh, going to bring some findings to the ministry for the candidates. So the usual, we are doing a usual check, follow-up check mm. for our candidates deployed in the diaspora. Well, thank you so much, Catherine. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Derek. Mm -hmm. you, you have heard for yourself. Um, um, you could work abroad, you could fulfill your dream, but you must be determined this year to change your situation. Uh, you may say, I don't have capital, I don't have, but you have capital. You have your body, you have your strength, you have your mind, which is the biggest and most important capital you have. Make this year 2016 count. Come to Maghreb and, and make your dream come true. And, uh, you know, call. Come for the interviews tomorrow. Come. Tell your parents and please tell them. Uh, inform all those that you love that are also looking for an opportunity. And come and be a part of this. Let's go out there. Make the dollars make the, what, what is the currency? The dirham, the, the, dirham. Dirhams, the dirhams or whatever <laughs> they are, and uh, bring them here. Yes, and, we should bring uh, that world uh, here. And, and invest them in this country. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Catherine, for being on the show. Thank you so much, okay. Derek, yeah. for having You're us welcome. here. Thank You're you welcome. so much, all of you, for viewing. Uh, see you next time on The Real Life Talk Show. Bye-bye.